this is Rashmi from Team Miss Mali and I am live right now with Tiger Shroff and Remu D'Souza. They're here to talk about a flying jut and they're also going to answer all of your questions. So if you have any, post them in the comments. But before that, I just found out today actually that a flying jut is scared of heights. How does that work? Well, uh, he's, he's a different sort of superhero. I think uh, first of his kind. Um, yeah, that being said, most of my powers that I have, I'm scared to use them. And that's just the way I am. Because yeah. superheroes can have tears too, guys. Yes. Yeah. And uh, what was it like uh, preparing for this role? I mean, I know you are like super flexible, all the acrobatics in the world. But still, uh, was it difficult? Was very, it right uh, up your alley? No, not at all. Uh, very challenging. Uh, Remo sir definitely wanted to up the action level in this film. And I think uh, we managed to do so. We, that being said, we worked very hard. There's, he gave us a lot of time for action workshops and uh, with the team. I've never used so much harness in my life, you know, to fly and make it look like I was flying. So a lot of body language work and stuff like that. And I heard recently that you have gone on a holiday for the first time in 15 years. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why have you not gone on a holiday in 15 years? Um, I don't know. I, I like to work uh, and I don't take holidays. Though whenever I used to go outdoors, uh, uh, my wife and kids used to be with uh, me, so yeah. they used to do holiday, but I never took holiday in 15 years. So this time after flying jet, after it got over, uh, I said, this time I should take it. time. <laughs> Need that holiday. Okay, then we have a question in for Facebook. Okay, so Jyoti wants to know that Tiger, wants to tell you guys that Tiger and Rebel look super duper fit. Do they guys eat ever? I want to, I just want to add that I just saw Rebel eating a burger, so. Yeah. <laughs> I eat a lot, but uh, this guy is very, very particular about what he eats. Um, it, only when I'm shooting, I'm very particular. When I'm not shooting, I'm not as particular, but still I do put an effort uh, to you know stay a little bit in shape. Uh, Ramosa is just naturally in shape by right? <laughs> that. He's, he's been dancing forever. Yeah. But is it true that you eat 12 scoops of ice cream on your cheat day? Yes, on so my cheat day. It's, it's 12 food. It's 15 now. 15 now. <laughs> okay. Now I'm not the flying jet. You know, yeah. that's one of my superpowers. I can have more than 12 scoops <laughs> of ice cream. Yeah. And how often do these cheat days come along? Every Sunday. That's a multi scoops of ice cream every <laughs> Sunday. I one day to go. One day to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, uh, someone told me recently, actually, someone brought it to my attention. Uh, that I don't know if you've noticed, but Tiger has kissed all of his on-screen heroes. Yeah, I know, <laughs> but that's, people have been pointing that out lately and I didn't realize. Yeah, I mean, even when, he, when, some, when someone told me that, I was like, I didn't realize that either. And that's actually pretty surprising for you because I know you've spoken about how shy you are. Yeah, yeah, And exactly. how your on-screen kiss with Kriti was one of the hardest scenes to shoot. Yeah, sure. So, how are you now about it? I guess now that I'm well versed, I'm practicing. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> I'm sure you're not. And uh, I also heard that you guys, you left it up to Tiger and Jacqueline to, you know, do that kissing scene in Beat the Booty if they want to. Uh, it wasn't in the script that it happened, so. Uh, it was in the script, but I thought that, uh, like how we cheat in the film, like yeah. when they clo go close, I go out focus and then I this thing. So I didn't, I didn't do that. Okay. So I said, I will just play the music. I will. Then I won't say cut, just <laughs> come close and just stay there. So I didn't say cut for a long time. They couldn't stay. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, another question. Okay, so lots of love is coming in for the trailer. Everyone loves Tiger so much, so much. And uh, a question for Remo actually that Tiger is such a great dancer. Kriti is is such a great dancer. We love to see them together. Will you do your next ABCD with them? <laughs> <laughs> Put him on well, the spot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, right now I'm uh, very much busy in uh, flying jet, but uh, uh, next is not my ABCD three, so uh, it is still time. So let's see. So what is your next demo? Casually. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, the next is uh, with Ajay, Devgan, and Suraj Manchuri. So that's the one. Which okay. Awesome. And uh, you're also working with Nathan Jones in this film, which yeah. is actually really cool. Uh, and I read a recent cool interview. Cool scary. For me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, I read a recent interview where he was all praises for you. But uh, what was it like working with him? Um, scary. Scary. An experience. 
a learning experience and uh, an honor just working with such a you know, fantastic actor and uh, an athlete. Uh, that being said, you know, he, he looks scary, but he's probably one of the nicest guys yeah. you'll ever meet. Yeah. Yeah. That's like it. Uh, and, uh, you know, you've obviously been a choreographer for so many years. What is it like working with Tiger, especially since he is amazing himself? Like, how much, uh, how much do you have to actually guide him, direct him? I think it's very uh, easy for a director uh, when you get an actor who's so uh, uh, so ready for your film and he's ready with everything, right? Fight, uh, action or uh, dance or whatever, scenes or whatever it is. So he's prepared himself so well in advance uh, that whenever I used to go on set, I never used to tell him that I used to show you I just have to tell you this, the scene yeah. and the action, that this is the action. Yeah. And you used to do it very uh, smoothly. So for me, it was a, it was a great time. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, Facebook. Rajeshwari wants to know if we will ever see Tiger in a comic room. Well, I think Flying Jet is something like that. So once you see the film, you realize. Okay. Uh, we also have another fan question. This is from Hanika. I think she's a Jacqueline fan because she has asked. Very open-ended question. Is Jacqueline talkative on sets? She, uh, when she talks, nobody has talks. We yeah. listen. I so, can yeah. that actually. Not only sets, you need a hidden. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, and Arti wants to know, what is your favorite dance step from the Flying Jet? My favorite dance step? Probably uh, a booty hook step, you know, which has been catching everybody. You know, everybody's getting the booty fever right now. So. Same? So you know, we actually tried, I don't know if you saw the video, we actually tried uh, doing the beat booty step in the office and deceptively difficult, I must say. Yeah. We saw it and like, okay, we can do this, why not? We've taken 30 takes, maybe 50 to get this right. But uh, for everyone watching who uh, they want to learn it and send in their entry as well, can you teach them the step? Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's not, it's not, uh, it's not that easy to explain actually, <laughs> it looks easy. But, uh, so it's on the line, Twalkade, beat, bebooti, beat, bebooti, okay? So on Twalkade, all you have to do is just sort of keep your body completely straight and only your hips, you're just supposed to rotate it. So it's Twalkade, beat, bebooti. Now imagine, there's a rod in between your uh, hips and you just want to slide down and shift. Yeah. So lift the rod one side, slide down, shift the other side. Lift the rod, slide down. That's the booty looks. Awesome, and remember now you can send in your challenges. All you have to do is hashtag BK Booty Challenge. Tag these guys on Twitter and they will watch it. Now also, also a deal also wants if Remo Sir could also do the step because we love it when he dances. So, Sir, give me the second part. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, so, uh, you saw the people. The next one is you just have to do one way and come like this again. And you tap with your right hand. So, you tap it and just twist. Tap it, twist, tap it, twist. Okay, then I just tap it, twist, tap it, twist, but when you try it, <laughs> you will realize. Okay, now we have a fun game for you guys quickly. Uh, I'm going to ask you a bunch of superpower, superhero related questions in your thoughts. Mm -hmm. Very quickly. Who's your favorite superhero? Spider Man. Spider Man. Okay, if you had one superpower, what would it be? Other than Fly Man, you can't say Fly Man. Super Speed. Nice cheat. Yeah. When was the last time you wished you had a superpower? Uh, just now, on our way here, we have so much traffic, I have a supply. That's the only reason I need a supply. Every second we get a uh, Someone in the industry, who you think is your superhero? Mm, my father. What's your favorite superhero movie? My my favorite. And you can't say a French obviously. Can't say French. Oh, because that's our favorite superhero movie. There's so many. I can't choose. There's so many actually. One, one, one. Latest, if you say, I would I would go for Deadpool. I was going to say the same as Superman. Okay. 
Okay, and who would win in a fight? Shakti Man or Krish? That's a tough <laughs> I think um, Krish after absorbing the win and he became quite powerful. So maybe, yeah. Amazing, I think Krish should. Okay. okay, so I, before we, I don't know if I have thumbs up, but uh, Saloni, before we end this, I have to see Rebo sir do the moonwalk, that's one. And Nikita wants to know, Tiger, please tell me the procedure to take you out on a date. Procedure, <laughs> just, just ask me. <laughs> ask me. You don't ask me, you ask me, I'm on a date. Awesome. Great, we both will do it. Okay. okay. I'm going to casually. Is there enough space? There is enough space. Okay, so you go first. I got the call over there. Okay, ready? And we're ready. Five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. But before we go, one last message to all your fans. They've sent lots of love in. Uh, what would you like to tell them? Thank you so much for all the love, guys, and uh, for always, you know, just being so supportive. We make films for you, and uh, you make us who we are. So we're really nothing without you. So thank you for being the real superheroes, and I just want to say that each one of you are a superhero. Just make a difference in, in somebody's life, somebody you're close to, somebody you maybe you're not close to. But uh, the power of helping is the greatest power a human possesses, and uh, that makes them superhuman. And 25th August, flying through. Why the release on the 25th, by the way? Uh, because it's Janmashtami and it's the holiday. Awesome. Bye guys, thank you for watching. If you guys like this video, please like it and subscribe.